Hello, I'm Catch Paper B. Stop Pile. And today, I'm going to show you something that's really, really interesting. FL Studio 20, well, FL Studio 21.2 Beta has been released and it's introducing something called Cloud Sounds or FL Studio Cloud, whatever you want to call it. It's going to allow you to download audio clips, one shots, loops, and everything directly from the web. I know they go partner up with um, WA Productions and a couple other um, studios. To offer this feature and right now it's looking really promising now I have a couple negative things to say about it in a second but let's look at some of the positive things all right so if you're on your in your browser you open up your browser this is your normal browser right which is I think it works perfectly fine but now we have the ability to click this little sounds tab and this is going to bring us to the internet and a discovery page where we can actually find other sounds that are stored out in the cloud somewhere. Now, as of right now, these all these sounds are free, but once this becomes the official release, 21.2, most of these sounds will probably be paid, um, paid options. But for right now, they're free during the beta. So what, what I like about it is, all right, let's say you just you don't you don't have a song idea, right? And you just you sit down at the computer and you want to come up with something. You can go in to say one of these packs and say you want to look for some vocals just to give you some inspiration so just type in vocals right and we're going to search up and it's going to bring up some vocals yeah, yeah, yeah. the way you got it going i am your number one fan and if i reached out to you would you just grab my hand okay so that vocal right there we can do something with right so but now, if you look at the bottom, it tells you the speed. So the speed it says times one. That means it's sticking. It's basically synced to the project tempo. It's in key. The um the key is an E. But what if we want to make this say F? So we're gonna go up a semitone. Did I get that? All right, there we go. So now we're gonna have this key. I mean this uh sample. It's gonna be an F. So then we're gonna drag this over. Let me close this. We're gonna drag this sample over into our project. All right, so you see it's already stretched to 86 beats per minute. I think we might want to go up to about 92. I'm going to take a listen to this. The way you got it going, I'm your number one fan. And if I reached out to you, would you just grab my hand? Okay, that's perfectly fine. All right, so now we got something to work with, right? We might want to do something like that. And now we want some drums, right? Now, if we want to go back in here, we can find, oops, go back to our cloud. And maybe want to find a kick. Let's wait, let's go back to, trying to think about how I want to do this. Let's do just one shots, all right? And we're going to look for a kick. I like this right here. So hit, click the plus sign, it's going to download it, and we're going to drag, uh, you know what, I'm not going to drag it over like that, I'm going to, which one did I have, this one, yeah, we're going to right click it and open a new channel, alright, so now we have that over here on the channel, right, alright, so now we need a snare, That's not bad. I'll use this one. So I'm going to drag this over. Oops. I keep dragging it over. I don't want to drag it. I want to right click it, open it in the channel, right? You can drag them over like you saw it be do with the audio track, the vocal. But in this case, I want to put them on the channel, right? All right. I always stretch these out and make them and I'll normalize it. All right, and let's say we want to use our own hi-hat, so I'm not going to bring a hi-hat over. So I just have the snare and the kick. And what we're going to do, the kick, let's just put a little drum pattern down. And the snare, just on the two and the four. Might as well make it two bars. All 
All right, so now we have two bonds. The way you got it going, I'm your number one fan. And if I reached out to you, would you just grab my hand? All right, it's really like me. Um, sounds really, really, really thin, but that's no problem. We just don't have these assigned to mix and insert yet. So the kick, I have a kick um bus here. So we're gonna move this up to five. And then the snare, we're gonna move up to six. All right. The way you got it going, I'm your number one fan. And if I reached out to you, would you just grab my hand? And, and here we could print bring up um a little change there if we want. I can add another vocal there. Um, do anything. But, but let's just do it like this since we're gonna just work with this one bar right now. Now we need the hi-hat. So I'm gonna go into beat maker cozy. Now pick a hi-hat from in here. Maybe what's going on? Oh I know. I'm sorry. My MIDI keyboard is set I'm set up a little different. Alright. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring a hi-hat in. Uh, something like this. The way you got it going, I'm your number one fan. And if I reached out to you, would you just grab my hand? The way you got it going, I'm your number one fan. And if I reached out to you, would you just grab my hand? The way you got it going, I'm your number one fan. And if I reached out to you, would you just grab my hand? The way you got it. Okay, so already you can see with using some of my sounds and sounds that I can download from the web, you're already on your process of, you know, building a song. And like I said, you get complete inspiration from the cloud. I do want to point out a couple more things here. Now, like I said, you can search by type, genre, instrument, BPM, key. That's really, really, really great. Um, you can do scales, major, minor, or both. Let's go ahead and reset this. Clear this out. Down the bottom, again, you have your um, the number of bars, the key, the tempo sync. It's this, this is actually really, really nice setup they have here. Even though this is just a beta and some of this stuff probably will change before we get to, before they uh, bring this out for everyone. Right now, I'm liking it. And I said earlier, I wanted to talk about a couple down, not necessarily downsides, but a couple things that I think they can implement into this cloud sound thing that can make it a little better. Now, on my OneDrive, I have enough, I don't even know how many samples I have. It'll be nice that I could search my, it'll be nice if I could search my OneDrive directly from this box here and bring in some of my own sounds from my own cloud save, all right? That'll be really, really nice. Another service that I would like to see to be able to be searched is Looperman. Looperman is a free community-based um, cloud service, you can call it, where we could actually say, I don't know, producer A put some sounds up, tell producer B, did you check out my latest whatever or use this in the in the mix or whatever? It's right there to search what's inside your browser, right inside of your DAW. That would be really nice. So I think if um implementing OneDrive or Google Drive, whatever you want to use, what's that other one? People use Dropbox, any of those cloud services that are personal should be able to be um implemented to a point where you can search and bring them into your DAW directly from this cloud save. And a service like Looperman, where you can have a community service or community sounds, I think would be great. Um, other than that, I, I really like this so far, and I think they're on the right, they're moving in the right direction, and this can be really, really great. And this is another reason why, I mean, FL Studio is one of the best stars out there. Everybody have their favorites. I love FL Studio because they bring stuff like this, which is, to me, kind of major to you for free. You have like free lifetime updates, and I really appreciate that. I'm Casual K. Y'all have a nice day.